What's up everyone, how you doing? Hope you're having an awesome day. PvP could be releasing as early as next week. Had a huge, huge meeting with the Pokemon Go Hub writers and editors and the mods and with the boss. And we've all decided that with the way that Niantic can roll out updates or updates that can roll out on phones, both Apple and Android, that PvP could be coming as early as next week. So, how can you prepare for PvP? Well, there's a couple different ways. Right now, don't spend any candy or stardust. We do not know how valuable those resources are going to be because of how much they're going to cost to get that second charge move. Because that second charge move is going to literally determine everything. And here's why. Type coveraging is going to be the most important aspect in PvP. Not stab. Not doing same type attack bonus. Because you have to be able to cover your common type weaknesses with your second move coverage. So that's pretty much the most important thing that you should do for PvP. Is digest. Is dive into Pokemon that have good type coverage. So let's go ahead and actually do that. I'm on the Go Hub database and let's go over some Pokemon in certain you know leagues let's go over Great League and I'm actually writing an article over this so that will be coming out here very soon so if we go to Great League what's a Pokemon that could have good stat coverage well actually I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek Delcaddy Delcaddy is gonna be incredible for Great League because it maxes out if you have hundred percent it would be worth maxing out at 1496 132 attack 127 defense and 172 stamina Believe it or not, those are actually incredible stats. They really are. Uh, so its weakness is fighting, and it's that's its only weakness. Well, what about the stat coverage? It's gorgeous. Zen Headbutt will cover all fighting types, so you already have the quick move type coverage, right? Next is Play Rough or Disarming Voice, but you want to go with Play Rough. Play Rough also takes care of fighting. Dragons are super common, and you'll probably see a lot of T-Tars in people's fighting teams. Uh, maybe not in the Great League, but you never know, especially with Dragon and Dark. You actually never know what you'll see in the Great League. People, especially when PvE comes out, people aren't going to be aware of how good Pokemon are at these lower levels. And I'll actually be covering that in the next video. I have an awesome spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and show you guys. I have an awesome spreadsheet where I've been diving in and noticing that Pokemon with CP levels close to the leagues are actually going to perform better than Pokemon that are above the league but lower in CP. And like I said, I will cover that in the next video. That one is super important. Make sure you're subscribed. It is going to be one of the most important PvP videos on YouTube if no one covers it in time. But anyway, so as you can see, Delcaddy, yes, Delcaddy has crazy coverage. It will take on any fighting Pokemon. So if you're if your opponent brings out a Machamp, you can keep your Delcaddy in, you've got coverage. Now, the second move that you'd probably want is Wild Charge. Wild Charge just takes care of Water and Flying. Now, that's not type coverage per se, because those Pokemon don't do super effective damage to you. But, hey, that's two more types that you can cover uh, to, you know, get ahead, get an advantage in the game. So, pretty much the only thing that you can't do is uh, Ground. Ground pretty much will take neutral damage from Zed Hub, but, but other than that, Delcaddy is going to be a beast and has excellent, excellent type coverage. Now, let's go ahead and go back and see if we can't find another one with tight coverage, shall we? Oh, this time let's go to, uh, let's go to Ultra League. Let's go to Ultra League because that one's a little bit more interesting. So that's under 2,500, right? Um, let's go to Meganium. Let's see what Meganium has and the importance of tight coverage for that. So, Meganium's weak to bug, fire, flying, ice, and poison. And we're going to try to have some kind of st uh, tight coverage of moves to combat that. Now, Meganium, just right off the bat, before we go on, has excellent stats for the Ultra League. Guys, at 100%, you max it out, you have these stats plus 15 on top of them, because 15 IV added all these. These are actually incredible stats, and we know that it has, uh, what, what's its exclusive move? Oh my gosh, it's not, it's not on here. Uh, Frenzy Plant, Jesus, okay. so. It's fast moves, unfortunately, aren't going to have that type coverage, unfortunately. Uh, it is super effective against rock, ground, and water, which is nice, that's three, but look what it's not very effective against. Remember, we're weak to bug, we're weak to flying, we're weak to fire, and we're weak to poison. So that's not going to be good, but Earthquake. Earthquake takes care of two of the disadvantaged types, fire and poison, so that's definitely nice. 
and it also deals a lot of damage. Now one thing I will say, uh, as you can see, Bug and Flying, two uh, type coverages that can destroy us, will still destroy us. So you're starting to see the importance of tight coverage, right? Yes, Meganium will be amazing in certain situations. You would probably want Vine Whip and uh, Frenzy Plant as your first move and then Unlocking Earthquake as your second move. Eh, it, it, it's pretty good. Fire's very common. Poison's not. Um, bug's not really and neither's flying. But you're going to probably see a lot more bug and flying types in the meta because there's pretty decent Pokemon both those. You got Star Raptor right now. Uh, which, let's go ahead and look at Star Raptor. Um, actually, you know, has some pretty decent stats, actually. Now, it would be in the, uh, Master League, but if you dumb it down a little bit in the CP, uh, down to 2500, it actually isn't that bad. These stats won't go down that much, but you'll probably want to dive into the stat sheet to kind of see where it lands. It probably won't be the best, but does it have type coverage? Let's look. Okay, so yes it does. Close Combat does super effective damage to Rock and Ice, two types that do super effective damage to Star Raptor. So all in all, it does have type coverage. So I hope you guys are seeing the picture here. Type coverage is going to be everything because doing super effective damage against your opponent gives you a 20% damage boost. Yeah, Stab is nice and so is super effective damage but to do a 40% damage boost. But stab isn't everything. You're trying to defeat your opponent and land moves that do super effective damage no matter what. So being able to counter whatever your opponent throws at you is definitely going to be the number one key to victory. And then choosing the stats of your Pokemon and which Pokemon to use uh, will definitely fall in line with that. So first I advise you guys if you really want to be serious into this, kind of look over some Pokemon, look at their CPs. Start generating your team a little bit on type coveraging because there are a lot of Pokemon and let me give you one example, one really good example and we're going to go Master League. There is one Pokemon that I have in mind that is going to be not terrible but it has no type coverage and that's Raikou. A lot of your legendaries do not have type coverages. So if we look at Raikou's moves, they are all electric and electric does nothing against ground which is its number one killer against it. So if I throw out a Steelix, which is already a Steel type and a Ground type, and I use Earthquake, it's game over. It is game over. Raikou could not destroy me no matter how hard my opponent tries with its electric moves. Could not destroy my Steelix even if I throw my 100% Steelix in Master League against these ridiculous stats of Raikou. It's gonna be impossible. So. There's some Pokemon that are going to be good, but there's some Pokemon that you thought would be good that aren't. So Raikou is going to be one of them. Uh, it's best for gym battles and raids. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Were you guys already thinking about this? Were you actually unaware that type coverage is going to be that serious of an issue? I think personally it's going to be the number one thing and then you work on stats and which Pokemon to use afterwards and then play with the numbers a little bit. Um, by far, definitely the most important thing. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Smash that like button, subscribe. More very important PvP videos will be coming out very soon, including how the stats changes with the levels and which Pokemon you should use in each league. That's your boy Fitzy. I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.